Thursday, March 16th, 2017, Monaco 64, home of alternative economics and contrarian views. Today I'd like to talk about uh, geopolitics, which is part of what I cover, uh, my core, uh, you know, coverage is the market and economics, but geopolitics is very interesting as well, in my opinion. And uh, the reason I want to talk about geopolitics is that yesterday, uh, Senator uh, John McCain from Arizona uh, said that Rand Paul, and I quote, Rand Paul is working for Putin. <laughs> and why did he say that? Well, there's a story here on Zero Hedge. It says Senator McCain explodes. Rand Paul is working for Putin. And I read the uh, article. It's actually from the Ron Paul Institute for Peace and Prosperity. Uh, Ron Paul, of course, is Rand, Senator Rand Paul's uh, father. And he says, uh, Putin derangement syndrome, <laughs> that's what Ron Paul calls it, may have finally jumped the shark. And he goes on to say, just minutes ago on the U.S. Senate floor, Senator Rand Paul did the sensible thing and blocked NATO accession for tiny corrupt Montenegro, the incon inconsequential. Quenchal Balkan country brings absolutely nothing to the NATO alliance with its army of approximately 1,950 active duty military, a population the size of the city of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and a history uh, of political repression and corruption. And he goes on to say, uh, Ron Paul, uh, Montenegro would only be a, a drain on the NATO alliance, but those pushing for its membership don't care much. They view Montenegro's NATO membership as another black eye for the Russians who have been historically close to the tiny Balkan state. Uh, it goes on to say, chief among those who are obsessed with giving Russia a black eye and perhaps starting World War III is Senator from the Senator from Arizona, John McCain, and Senator Paul's move today nearly caused him an aneurysm. So, interesting, Montenegro... Uh, tiny country uh, was part of the old uh, uh, Yugoslavia. Now it's an independent uh, country. It borders the Adi Adriatic Sea. I think it's between Albania and Croatia, uh, somewhere there. And I've got some information here about Albania. Capital cities Podgorica, well, Podgorica, Podgorica, capital city. The population of uh, this country, Montenegro, is the estimate is six hundred twenty thousand. So, like Ron Paul said, is just like a, a, you know, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, so, why is Paul uh, John McCain so adamant to have this country, uh, you know, Montenegro, be part of NATO? I've got some. Facts here, and they're not like speculation or anything. And you make up, uh, I, I want you to make up your mind. I've kind of made up my mind. I just look at the facts and the history. I, I've rem I remember some of these things. Uh, I've been around for a while, I guess. So the first story I want to talk about, and it's actually from the Guardian uh, newspaper here in the UK. And the Guardian is a left-wing newspaper mainstream newspaper you could call them part of the fake news agenda and there's an article from uh april 29th 2008 and it and it says mccain accused of accepting improper donations from rothschilds so the story reads a u.s campaign watchdog has accused presumptive republican president nominee john mccain of violating election laws by accepting campaign contributions from true two prominent Londoners. Well, uh, I interrupt here a little bit. Uh, in the U.S., you cannot uh, accept uh, donations, uh, political donations from foreigners. So you know. Anyway, I continue. At issue is a fundraising luncheon held in March at London's Spencer House during McCain's swing through the United Kingdom. An inv an invitation to the event lists. Lord Rothschild and Nathaniel Rothschild, who's Lord Rothschild's son, as hosts and indicates the event was made possible with their kind permission. 
It goes on to say, Judicial Watch, a Washington organization instrumental in the March release of Hillary Clinton's White House schedules, has asked U.S. election monitors to investigate whether Rothschilds improperly sponsored the fundraiser. U.S. political campaigns are forbidden from accepting contributions from foreign nationals. It goes on to say, uh, tickets to the event cost $1,000 to $2,300, and the luncheon dress code was lounge suits, the Washington Post reported in March. The McCain campaign did not immediately return a call seeking comment. Um, there's more to this article, but you get the gist. Um, so uh, McCain, you know, being helped uh, by the Rothschilds and his campaign for the presidency in 2008. Uh, that's not like conspiracy. It's a fact. Uh, I don't know what's happened uh, with the investigation on this, uh, for, you know, on this, uh, but I haven't heard much from it. I was probably being forgotten and put under the rug. Uh, so what else did I want? Do I want to talk about? Um, oh yeah, Porto Montenegro. So uh, this is a port in Montenegro. It's like a luxury. It's the uh, <laughs> how can I say the? They're trying to turn it into the uh, Monte Carlo of Montenegro or the Adi Adriatic. So I I read here Montenegro. Porto Montenegro is a luxury yacht marina and adjacent waterfront development under con construction in Tivat, Montenegro. The construction site was a naval shipyard named Arsenal, which fell into disuse with the breakup of Yugoslavia and the decline of the Yugoslav Navy. The lot on which the shipyard is situated was put on public offering in 2006 and was bought by Canadian businessman Peter Monk. It was acknowledged in 2008 that he was not alone in the venture. While Monk owns 54% of Porto Montenegro, the rest is owned by Oleg Deripaska, Nathaniel Rothschild, Jacob Rothschild, which is Lord Rothschild, Bernard Arnault, Sandor Demijon, and Anthony Monk. Um, so there you go. The Rothschilds are involved. Uh, they've got assets in Montenegro. Not surprising. Oleg Deripaska. Who is Oleg, Oleg Deripaska? Well, Oleg Vladimirovich Deripaska is founder and owner of the largest Russian industrial, one of the largest Russian industrial groups, Basic Cement Company. Uh, and he's worth $5.4 billion, according to... Uh, Wikipedia. So a, a Russian. It's not Putin, but it's another Russian. So another story here. Um, and it's from Ronald Wetterfort dot, dot WordPress dot com. Uh, it's a story uh, I found. Uh, it's a it's a blog I found. And he's got a picture here, as you can see. Um, and he calls it cruising with criminals says Rick Davis and Senator John McCain in cap board the rented yacht of Italian conman Raffaello Folieri in August 2006 in Kotor Bay, the Rothschild fiefdom uh, in Montenegro. Folieri, then boyfriend of Anne Hathaway, went on to serve a five-year federal jail term in the U.S. It was during this trip that McCain met again with Oleg Deripaska and Nathan Rothschild. So, very interesting. You know, we've got Senator John McCain, the, the same senator who said uh, we should bomb uh, Iran. I think he had a little uh, tune, bomb, 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 bomb Iran, you know. He's coming out now and calling um, Rand Paul <laughs> a Putin agent, basically, while he has been, you know, in contact or has relationships with the Rothschilds, with Dari Pasca, who's a Russian. Uh, so very interesting. I, I, you know, I don't want to make any assumptions here, but um, not sure why, you know, Rand Paul, he objected to the vote to accept uh, 
Montenegro into NATO, and he left the Senate floor without giving a reason. Uh, maybe he should have, uh, you know, responded, but uh, that's up to him. I know, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. But uh, very interesting. Uh, and the other thing I wanted to touch upon uh, in terms of geopolitics is, you know, the uh, advice from the founding fathers. And I start with a, a quote here. And it says, it is our true policy to steer clear of permanent alliance with any portion of the foreign world. Uh, and this was from George Washington's farewell address. And uh, the inaugural pledge of Thomas Jefferson was no less clear. And it says, peace, commerce, and honest friendship with all nations, entangling alliances with none. So here you have Senator uh, Rand Paul, you know, trying to follow those principles of non-entangling alliances with foreign powers. And then you have, you know, Senator John McCain saying that uh, Senator Paul is uh, uh, works for Putin, uh, while he's been looks he looks to be working for, you know, the Rothschilds, Oleg Deripaska and other people involved in Montenegro. And, uh, and he seems desperate to, to get this little tiny country uh, to become part of NATO. Uh, very interesting. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, it, uh, share it far and wide. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. If you'd like to donate to my channel, there's some links below in the description. I know this is a little bit different, but I just wanted to bring out the facts this is not conspiracy. It's all documented and you can make up your own mind. Uh, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye.